Hallelujah. Amen. De kwa se nya no so de se san ni o nyam de mame wa fa me mu su bo de kwa se nya no so de se san a bra bo pa de ma for tonight for the opportunity to gather before him in such a time like this remembering the death and resurrection of Christ is one of the most significant things in the Christian community because that is what defines us Hallelujah. Amen. So to be part of this celebration is an honor God has done us. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. We are believing God that in this convention, beginning from tonight to Sunday, God will minister to us. So have a heart of expectation. Believe God for an encounter. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. How many of us are looking out for an encounter before <inaudible> his presence? May the Lord do that in accordance to your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. It is my prayer this evening that the one who died and rose again will reveal himself to his church. He will reveal more of himself to his church. You see, whenever God reveals himself to his church, his people tend to know him better. So in this convention, may God reveal more of himself to us. As we hear his word, may God reveal more of himself to us. As we join our hearts in prayer, may God reveal more of himself to us. As the choir ministers to us, may God reveal more of himself to us. As we sing praises and adoration unto God together, may God reveal more of himself to us. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I pray that this convention will be a convention of an encounter. As rightly said, the theme for this convention is peace through his blood. Oh, peace through his blood. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, there is a blood that speaks. And this blood speaks peace. I'm talking about the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Even tonight, may that blood speak into your life. You see, we come to know in Genesis chapter 4 verse 10 that the blood of Abel spoke. In other words, the blood of Abel, God Got God's attention. Now, I can't for frost in the better. I can say, Yami Etty, and now, oh, 
Abel mojano. So if the blood of Abel could get the attention of God, how much more the blood of Jesus? In this convention, I was may everything related to the blood of Jesus be renewed in our lives. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. What I'm seeking to do this evening to give us a, a general background of the theme. The general background of the theme. And as we said, the theme is peace through his blood. And I want us to open our Bibles to Colossians chapter 1, verse 19 to 22. I'll read the English and I'll expect somebody to help us with our conversion. Colossians chapter 1, verse 19 to 22. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God, and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior. But now, he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. Amen. 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 I saw on your cupon any say, Nemaya yina bet nanimu. Now on am the so apata on nonin and no man yina in tem cra. And I say, On am the same year homo just so aye as on genam or no ara so apata no man yina. As I said, Sudio or Sudio, Ninon tem, a do no bacon. Now Monswan come away a whole one at town for a Jennifer Nenoma, Ninu my bonne mono. Afe on a mawoso apata mone nun tem wane won hom ni pediemu. Se or de mube si wa se ni pa kron kron ah won ni dem. Ah se mi ini won hum wo ni nim. Hallelujah. Amen. Now what we read is Paul's letter to the church in Colosse. Ebi a king ka ye a wuma sma for poor, I shall come out asafono. And this church in Colosse was established by one of Paul's converts called Epaphras. It is believed that God, through Paul, uh, got Epaphras into conversion in Ephesus. And so when this young man got converted, he went to a city called Colossae to establish a church. So in a time that when Paul was arrested and he found himself in Rome, Epaphras came to visit him. And he spent some time with him. Now, while he was with him, Epaphras told Paul what God was doing in the city of Ep Colossae. How the church was doing and how the saints of God were doing in the city. Paul had not yet been to Colossae. But his friend Epaphras came to tell him all the good things God was doing in the church. And so when Paul heard all the wonderful things happening in the church in Colossae, then he wrote a letter to them by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And this one letter was supposed to encourage the church. I want us to pick it from verse 1 downwards, trying to explain some little bit of it. Then we'll come to the theme. Now, at the beginning point of the letter, Paul sought to thank God for the life of the church. 
na mfiti ase e wo ne chiro no mu no paul he hwese obede nyame ase e wo asori no why was he thanking god for their lives don't you know now all the nyame ase won kwa ho because he had been told that the church was holding strongly to the faith if he said no we can't turn it say asori no ko ro nim e wo chidifam and the church was full of the love for god and love for one another i pray that this will be the testimony of pia do bisi tesano and people holding strongly to the faith and crowfu a wo shedding e wo jidi anim who love god and love one another so this was a testimony about the church in colosse so having thank God for their lives then he went ahead to pray for the church and one of the things he prayed for the church about that God will fill them with the knowledge of his will through all wisdom and understanding that the spirit gives so that they may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this was a Paul's prayer for the church in Colossae. People of God, we come to know that there is this wisdom and understanding that the Spirit of God gives. And this wisdom and understanding help us to know God more and live our lives to please Him in every way. May I announce to us that this wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, they are in measures. Now, me pesa me kesi subi ase sa tiasia eni nyansa huhumu na edi mano wano pempenswa. This wisdom and understanding is given by the Spirit of God. Sa nyansa eni tiasia yami huhumu na edi ma. And when one has it, he he tends to know God better. Na se obin saka watimi huhu radi ye. And he's he lives in light to please God in every way. Na obon abraba mani so radi enu akwenyi na. And I'm saying that this. Wisdom and understanding, they are in different measures. The more of the Spirit of God in man, the more of the wisdom and understanding in man. And the more of the wisdom and understanding in man, the more we please him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Paul was praying for the church. That God will fill them with the knowledge of his will. Through all wisdom and understanding that the spirit gives so that they will live a life worthy of the Lord. So the spirit gives wisdom and understanding. And this Wisdom and understanding help us to live for the Lord. The more of the Spirit of God in a man, the more of the wisdom and understanding. And the more we live our life to please Him, the more. So I pray that in this convention, may a whole new measure of the Spirit of God come upon us. We thank God for how far He has brought us from the beginning of the year. All the graces He has deposited in our spirit. But I pray that in this convention, we shall experience God the more. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. A similar prayer was prayed for the church in Ephesus. And so in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, Paul was telling the church that I keep praying for you that God will give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation that you will know God better. Church, the spirit that gives wisdom and understanding is the same spirit that gives wisdom and revelation. 
se nya kupa huhumu a e ma entiasie enu nyansa no se nya me huhumu na ana ma ntiasie ni hunu mu and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. And this convent may the Holy Spirit come upon us mightly. Now, before we could I want us to bow down our heads. The Spirit of God coming upon us mightly. This Spirit gives wisdom and understanding. To know him better. To please him in every way. The spirit of wisdom and revelation. That in this comment, God will release more of his spirit into our spirit. I just want to just lift up your voice and begin to pray. That God will open up the heavens upon you right now. And you begin to experience more of him tonight. More of him tonight. More of him tonight. The more of the spirit, the more of the wisdom, and the more of the understanding, and the more you can please him better. Lift up your voice. That the Holy Ghost will come upon you right in this convention.
up your right hand. That in this convention, the Spirit of God will come upon you mightily. Even beginning from tonight, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God will come upon the shadows mightily. It was a good testimony. But there is always a higher height. When it comes to the things of the spirit, there is always a higher dimension. And so Paul prayed for them. That the spirit of wisdom and understanding will be released upon them. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, may the spirit of wisdom and understanding come upon in the name of Jesus. Whatever level we have gotten to, God is taking you to your next level. God is taking us to his next level. In the name of Jesus. May the oil of God drip upon us. In the name of Jesus. Let's take our seats. So Paul prayed for the church. It was a good testimony. But yesterday he prayed for the church. May the Spirit of God increasingly be upon us tonight. Hallelujah. 
Now from verse 13 going. Now a free since I hear Tosu do me a second. So we are referring to Colossians chapter 1. Now yet as soon edge now Colossal Fong Maneti Bakum. So from the verse 13 going. A free and chin sign here, Tosu do me a second. Then he draws the church attention of how God has rescued us. From the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the sun. God has rescued us. I want us to read Colossians chapter 1, verse 13, all of us together. Let's read together, ready, go. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness. And brought Lord us into the kingdom of the Son he loves. He has rescued us. Say to yourself, He has rescued me. He has rescued us. No matter your family background. No matter the curses in your family. No matter the curses in your family. No matter the poverty in the family. No matter the problems in the family. No matter the problems in the family. Bible says. He has rescued us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He has rescued us. So it's not so much about our background. How dark the family is. No matter where we are coming from. Bible says. He has rescued us. Oh hallelujah. Amen. And he has brought us into the kingdom of the son. But the question is what, by what means has he rescued us? The blood of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. hallelujah. Amen. He, by the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary, he has rescued us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, when you don't belong to a kingdom, when you don't belong to a kingdom, the rules of that kingdom does not apply to you. Unless that kingdom is more powerful than the kingdom you belong to. So if that kingdom is powerful than the kingdom you belong to, then the rules of that kingdom, somewhere, somehow, can influence you. But glory be to God. But glory be to God that the kingdom we have been called to is more powerful than any other kingdom. So in Matthew 28 verse 18 he said all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So the kingdom that we have been called into Rules above all other kingdoms. So which means that the kingdom of the powers of darkness where we have been rescued from by the blood of Jesus does not have power over us. Does not have power over us. Oh hallelujah. Amen. We have been rescued. So Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. That we have been bought with a price. What is this price? The blood of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So with this blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. We have been rescued from the powers of the enemy. The blood that came from a shameful death. The blood that came from a painful death. The blood that came from an accursed cross. It is this blood that has saved us. The blood of Jesus. Yes, Christo Mujah. Me we rank free. 
Yes, we are many, you know. Free girls are many. Cozy cavalry. Read all my for ya. Oh, body, Jimmy. Read all my for ya. Oh, body, Jimmy. Then in verse 20, he says that this blood of Jesus has reconciled us. Has reconciled us to God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. By this blood, all things have been reconciled unto God. Through what? The blood. It is this blood that you and I have encountered. It is by this blood that you and I have been reconciled to the Father. And the outcome of this reconciliation is man finding peace with God. The outcome of the reconciliation that was effected by the blood of Jesus is that man will find peace with God. And when man finds peace with God, he finds peace for his soul. People of God, this is the blood we have encountered. The blood of Jesus. Yes, Christ That was shed on the cross of Calvary. Then in verse 21, he vividly describes our former state. How we were separated from God. And how we had become enemies of God. But because of the blood that was shed on the cross, we have been reconciled unto God. The blood has drawn us closer unto God. Our sins that made us enemies of God the blood has washed those things away. And that's how the prophet Isaiah put it in Isaiah 3 verse 5. Isaiah 53 verse 5 He said he was pierced for our transgressions. 
He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And, and by his wounds we are healed. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. The blood of Jesus. I was condemned to hell. Hey, hey, hell fire. Ah, yeah. He took my place and died for me. Hey, he took my place and died for me. He took my place and died for me. He took my place and died. We who were once not a people of God, we have become part of the household of God. By this blood, we can boldly go before his throne and ask for grace and mercy. The blood has reconciled us with God. And has taken the barrier of enmity and replaced with the barrier of love. Even when we mess up with our lives, and we humbly go before Him with a repentant heart, He take this same blood. And he washes us clean again. The blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. And the most glorious aspect of it is all is this. That because of the blood, when the trumpet is sounded, you will not be ashamed of his coming. And even when we die, will be welcome home. Because by the blood, you have become part of God's home. Because of the blood, you have become part of God's family. So when we die even today, we will not be welcome home because of the blood. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. People of God, this is the story of Easter. And this is what Paul wanted the church in Colossae at this point of his prayer to appreciate. That there was a blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. And now blood has brought us peace. That blood has Giving us a relationship with God. And this peace, God has given freely unto us. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. At this moment, even as I bring this word to a close, what I sought to do is to help us have a, a general background of the theme. How, how the apostle Paul 
thank God for the life of the church in Colossae. In the midst of his thanksgiving, still prayed for the church. That God, that God will give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding. That they'll be able to please, please God in every way. And he prayed other prayers for them. Then he got to a point, he drew the attention of what happened on the cross of Calvary. The blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary. That has rescued us from the dominion of darkness. Into the kingdom of God. And how this blood has reconciled us with God. And how this blood has given us peace. This is the story of Easter. I want you to be on your feet at this moment. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord for the cross. Bless the name of the Lord for the cross of Calvary. For the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Hey, Maro, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. 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 Libra we thank you for the blood of God.
This evening, if there's any troubling area of your life, the blood will speak peace into your situation. Any troubling aspect of your life, I want to just relay before the Lord that God speak peace into this situation. Let it be before the Lord. Let it be before the Lord. Let it be before the Lord. You see, the enemy will never stop troubling us. Because that is what occupies him. Bible calls the accuser of the brethren. He does not just accuse, but he also attacks. So you always seek to trouble us. But the blood is our weapon. When the blood is engaged in prayer, it works. So Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by their word of testimony. So we are going to quote Colossians 1.13. And that we have been rescued. Tonight is the testimony. And by the blood. May every troubling move of the enemy part. 
In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your right hand to the Lord. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Mount San Infaso. Moja Edia Sunreba. Jesus' name. Emri Moja ni Endi Mahu. Amen. Moja Edia Sunre Ebre Okra. And I agree Moja ni Endi Mahu. Jesus' name. If there's any storm in your life, mm. we speak peace into that storm. Probably that storm began to rage this morning. Oh God. Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus Whatever storm you have been battling with, may the blood speak right now. Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be peace right now. Peace in the soul. Peace in the emotion. Jesus' name. Peace of God. In the name of Jesus. Reign in your life. Yes. Reign in your life. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shed on the cross of Calvary is whispering peace into his church. Father, we bless your name, we give you glory. We give you praise for the blood. We give you praise for the sacrifice. We give you praise for the death on the cross. Yes, it was a shameful death. It was not easy, but it was worth it. Yes, now within your tomb for your uncle Someone <laughs> 
ever chase the team. And all the saints of the Lord shall shout a big amen. Amen. Give a clap offer to the Lord. But before I take my seat, if you are here, you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. The blood is still speaking. Maybe we are invited by somebody to join us this evening. Maybe you are invited by somebody into this convention. But you have not encountered Jesus. Life without Jesus is the worthless. This if we want to invite you to have a share in the eternal life that the blood gives. The peace that the blood gives. You want to give your life to Jesus? Let me see you by your hand. I'm going to pray for you. You want to give your life to Jesus? If, we have, if all of us have been saved, let's shout a big amen. Yeah.